Hey everyone, Dave here. We started working remotely several years ago and it quickly became apparent that people started to feel disconnected and feeling like they're alone on an island and it was harder for management to be able to understand what everybody's doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, we came across this software called Kumo Space, which is a virtual office which made a huge difference for us. Real quick, before we get into it, we released a new noise canceling software called Neep, which is an app you download on your computer and it removes unwanted background noise with virtually any headset. So if you have chatty coworkers or you're working from home and you have kids or dogs making noise, it'll remove all that background noise so that your calls or meetings will be distraction free, making you more productive. You can try it for free by going to neep.com so you can see the performance for yourself. Kumo Space is a virtual office. It literally looks like the floor plan to a typical office. And I think this helps conceptualize the virtual office into the dedicated spaces for departments, private office for one-on-one -on -one meetings, or even conference rooms for group collaboration and it helps us just understand what each of those areas is used for. You'll start by setting up your office and you can choose how big of an office you want, maybe four to five people in the office, all the way up to a mega big office with multiple different floors. You can choose between different templates. There's a green, template, a standard looking office. You could even have an office set up to look like you're in Mars. And there's one template that allows you to have the exact replica of the show, The Office, which is pretty cool. You can customize as much of the office as you want. You can change the decorations, adjust the walls and even add or remove rooms. And of course, we had to add a TV with our latest YouTube videos so the team is aware of the latest release. Every user gets their own avatar that's a visual representation of each person. You could have an image or you can actually have a live camera feed of your face so it looks like you're actually traveling around the office and you'll double click with your mouse to travel inside of the office to get to the next area or next space. From a management perspective, you're able to see if your team has made it and if they made it on time quickly at a glance. From a communications perspective, it's easier to strike up a conversation because you can just travel over next to somebody in Kumo space, just as if you were in a real office and you walked up to somebody giving you more flexibility on the way that you can communicate. If you need to step away, there's a status feature that you can set your status as away. And what that does is it will mute your microphone, turn off your camera and also the audio so you're not disrupted by the chatter going on in the office. There's also the focus mode, which will do the same, but it will let people know that you're dedicating time to focus on a particular type of work that you need to concentrate on. There's an analytics mode to Kumo Space, so whoever manages the Kumo Space or is a manager of the employees is able to get access to the analytics and see the employees, how much they've worked or how long they've been logged into the Kumo Space system and how much they've been in away status or focus mode. People are also able to go into a private room and close the door, and that will prevent other people from being able to see their camera or hear their conversations to give more privacy. This is typically good for one-on-one -on -one meetings, but sometimes people need to step away to do a phone call type of thing, and they can do that through the software. Each room has its own designated audio. So when you step into the room, you'll notice that the background color changes so that you know that that is an act active voice area so you can hear what's going on in that room and you can also talk. Within your avatar, you'll also notice this circle around you that is highlighted. This is your microphone pickup range. So when you're talking to somebody, you have to be within that circle in order to be able to have a conversation, to be able to talk and hear. As soon as you step out, you will not be able to hear or talk to the people that are within that circle. It's also great for 
training because you're able to share screen and share audio. So live people can be on a call or doing their work and a manager or trainer is able to see exactly what the employee is doing and provide feedback. And multiple people can be viewing this at the same time. From a manager's perspective, you're able to easily see the entire floor plan, who's having meetings, kind of get a lay of the land quickly and easily. There's also a chat messenger functionality, so you can set up groups for people to communicate, such as a department, or you can do direct messages. Now, we don't use this internally because we already have Google Workspace where we chat in that system, but you can easily do it through Kumo Space as well. There's some additional functionality when you see somebody's avatar, when you click it, there will be buttons and options you can select from. So you could easily chat with somebody, you can nudge somebody, which provides a little tone and it lets people know that you want to have a quick impromptu meeting and it will get them to come over to you if they're not busy. There's also the follow option, which your avatar will just automatically follow that person. And lastly, you can mute somebody if they're just being annoying, you can just mute them so you don't have to hear them. You can also invite guests to join your Kumo space so you can have a meeting. It is a cool thing to be able to invite somebody and experience that. It's quite unique rather than a typical Zoom or Teams meeting. There's some other features like screen sharing and also you have the ability to record conversations in case you want to save a training session and share it later. So after using Kumo Space for about a year now, our team is now more connected and less feeling like they're deserted alone on an island. And from a management perspective, we're able to have more visibility into what the team is doing and communicate more easily. And I think we would be going back to the office if it wasn't for Kumo Space as it does engage us more. So I think it's been quite useful for us. There's always pros and cons to everything. Of course, when you enable a virtual office like this, you can create more of that water cooler talk where people are just chit chatting rather than working so it can hinder productivity. But if management sets the right rules and expectations for how you use Kumo Space, it can be quite a productivity tool. And I think the pricing is quite reasonable. You can get it for $20 per month per user, or if you do a yearly license, you can save about 30%. If you wanna learn more about that Neep noise canceling software, which uses AI to remove that unwanted background noise so that you have better conversations, you can check out this video. We show all the software, what it does, does, and of course do some extreme tests so you can hear the performance for yourself or you can just try it for free at neep.com well that's all i got for you on this video i hope you enjoyed it go ahead and hit that subscribe button other than that i'll see you on the next one